that we are indeed progressing well as women to be very strong partners with our dear men who have gone ahead of us many, many years. Uh, and now I think what we are asking is that little step to give us that possibility for us to come and be your partners at a similar level to advance and be able to collectively work towards the achievement of the objectives that we have set ourselves up for in the context of our families, in the context of our communities, and indeed in the context of our countries and the global uh, world as a whole. The attainment of those sustainable goals in a way that is inclusive, in a way that empowers the women, and in a way that empowers youth. Excellency Justice Tiru P. Satatsivang, you've seen the challenge, Miss, Miss Pande, Mr. Harry Shankar, and indeed my dear friend uh, Sima, members of Indian ITM Society, Excellencies, and your beautiful national outreach and indeed support activities are measured and they are for all of us to see on this special day when you celebrate 40 years of it being in existence. Third point is achievable. The targets set by your founders and right through to your current leadership have been achieved through hard work and strategic thinking. Achievement is a great indicator of success. Therefore, we are here fighting fit and looking ahead. Fourth, relevant. Sri yes, Harishankar, Chairman, India ITME Society, Her Excellency, Madam Dorothy Tembo, Deputy Executive Director, ITC UN, Geneva, Mrs. Swati Pante, Postmaster General, Mumbai Region, Government of India, Council Generals and Embassy Officials, Representatives from various countries, Honorable Members of Reputed Society, Dignitaries who addressed the gathering both in the forenoon and afternoon session, Officers, Office Bearers, who supported this society for the last four decades, senior officers of the Government of India, other distinguished of the India International Textile Missionary Exhibitions Society, India ITME Society in Mumbai, the Queen City for Commercial Development. I am truly honored having received the invitation to be the guest of honor and release the stamp commemorating the success of 40 years of India ITME Society in the august presence of distinguished members of the industry from across the globe. The clothes we wear have played an essential role throughout the history. They reflect the personality of individuals and can be used as a marker of a group, community, family, region, and even country. Few countries have used fabric as a tool to achieve freedom. India is a pioneer in this. Mahatma Gandhi began promoting the spinning of Khadi for rural self-employment and self-reliance in the 1920s in India, thus making Khadi an integral part and an icon of the Swadeshi movement. Nearly seven decades in markets the textile sector <coughs> is one of the largest contributor, contributors to India's exports 
amount accounting for approximately 11% of the total exports. It is estimated the accounting that domestic textile industry in India is projected to reach 223 billion US dollars by 2021 financial year from 150 billion dollars by 2021 from 31.65 billion US dollars in financial year 2019. Undoubtedly, the future for the Indian textile industry consumption as well as ex uh, export demand. This growth of the industry is not completely a surprise. India has always had an abundant availability of raw materials such as cotton, wood, silk and jute. India also enjoys a comparative comparative advantage in terms of skilled manpower and in cost of production. No one A little more enthusiasm. You have to work up your appetite. Miss Doris Nana. Excellency Mr. Demeke. Mr. Shafiqur Rahman. Mr. Armesh Bariwala. Mr. Armesh Bariwala. Mr. Aminash Maikar. category which is the last one which we have I promise it is always a privilege and honor for the industry and the society to have the mentoring and participation for the last 40 participation and leadership it is a great pleasure to acknowledge and thank you for your contributions towards the society and the industry in the last four decades. Mr. G.T. Demla. He is our past chairman and a founder member of India ITME Society. A big round of applause, gentlemen. that question I'll have to take back uh, back in time a little bit into the history of India Ethne Society. So India Ethne Society was formed about 40 years ago by our founding members who were visionaries of their time 
Um, they, the India Ethnic Society, first of all, is a non-profit body, the sole objective being the overall improvement and health of the Indian textile industry. So when India Ethnic Society was started 40 years ago, there was a shortage of technology in India at the time. Um, we had to rely on sourcing all of the equipment and machinery and everything from Europe. But over the course of time, we set up India Ethnic Society to have exhibitions, state-of-the-art, world-class exhibitions, where uh, you know all of the Indian textile manufacturers can come to our events to see all the showcased um, equipment from manufacturers, not just from India, but from everywhere around the world, Europe, uh, China, elsewhere. Not only that, the equipment manufactured in India now are world class, where we take our business to, in, to um, industry overseas, and we are competitive, we are amongst the top in the world, and uh, the textile industry in India is about maybe the second most in terms of employment uh, generation in our country today. So, to answer your question, I think we are immensely pleased to be celebrating India Ethnic Society's 40th year. And um, uh, I'm glad to be here in Mumbai today celebrating the event. Sir, so what is the actually vision of uh, India ITMI Society? The vision of India ITME Society is the overall benefit and health of the textile industry in India. That's always been our vision. So we do everything to steer um, the industry as a whole forward. We conduct um, exhibitions. Uh, we have two state-of-the-art um, exhibitions coming up next year, 2020. Our first one will be in February 2020 in Ethiopia, where for the first time ever, India Ethnic Society is venturing overseas outside India to conduct um, this exhibition. Now, this has come, out, uh, come up after a lot of thought simply because Africa now is the last frontier that's not been explored and conquered. Uh, it's a big growing population, a lot of which is, is going to be young. And so by 2030, they're going to take up a lot of uh, manufacturing op operations across some of the uh, fast developing African nations. So India Ethnic Society is actually um, conducting its first of a kind exhibition in uh, Ethiopia in February. And then our flagship event, which is the India Ethnic exhibition, will be held in Noida at the IML Center in December 2020. So that's one of the largest such events anywhere in the world. And uh, we expect to see a lot of visitors, not just from across India, the textile hubs, but also from everywhere around the world to come and see all of the um, equipment that we have showcased. Sir, India Ethnic Society has completed 40 successful years. On this basis, we have awarded some people. So, we would like to know about these awards. How many awards basically are awarded? Okay. So, a part of the awards is really. Um, uh, we decided how are we going to celebrate this um, 40th year. It's not not just about you know having a big party and celebrating it, uh, celebrating it, but we also want to give back to um, to a lot of prominent and deserving people. There are a lot of associations across India. Some of them are much smaller in size associations that are working very hard to work in th to the benefit of their members. So th their voice is very rarely heard in a national level. So we have these various categories so that we showcase them and highlight them on a national platform. And also India Ethnic Society, we are very much towards women empowerment and uh, we, we have several categories um, um, of awards in that area as well. Okay, you are not from uh, India, but even after that uh, you came to India and uh, you bring this uh, wonderful industry to India. You produce your beautiful concept to in India. Uh, what do really motivates you to... Uh, we, we are all from India. Oh. Yeah, we are all based in India. Oh. Yeah. 
I just don't speak Hindi because I'm from oh. Tamil Nadu from the south. Okay, just, uh, having, <laughs> you know, a milestone like this all the yeah. moment of occasion. But could you highlight as to why the Caucasian is not doing this in Bay? But yes. why earlier we haven't seen IGME or your fraternity celebrate or you know make people acknowledge as to what this industry has done for the nation? Um, are you saying India Ethnic Society has not... Uh, you know, the way you have conducted this event. Correct. As a milestone for the population. Yeah. Have you done earlier, and if so, why hasn't, I mean, it hasn't reflected the way it is now? Uh, I think 40 is a special occasion. Until then, you're, you're still learning. I think every day is a learning experience. I think uh, once you hit certain milestones and you move forward, um, you then have a cost of celebration and um, um, My point was, you know, the contribution of the textile industry towards the whole nation today yeah. has been gigantic. gigantic. Yeah. And uh, it, 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 it's something, it, it, I mean, you can equate it with the freedom, freedom struggle to the growth of India. Yes. You know, yes. It could be 70 plus these 40 from yes. whenever 70, 90s you began. Yes. So, I mean, do you think now that it's, it's time that we should you know, channelize, globalize? Uh, definitely we should globalize it, take it overseas, um, uh, showcase our brand overseas, uh, things of that nature. Um, uh, so we haven't done it uh, up, to, up to now, but it's about time, and so that's, that's one of the reasons why we're now venturing overseas. It was always a task for us to pick a destination and um, to, to uh, take our event overseas. Um, uh, it took a lot of struggle and uh, research, but we were able to pick Ethiopia. Um, we had very able partners in the International Trade Center, which assisted us in pinpointing Ethiopia and um, as one of the destinations for the future. Hopefully, we'll have many other destinations also in, in our roadmap forward. Um, this is so we're not happy with where we stand today. We never were before. We always have a strong vision, and um, hopefully, we'll see the path forward. Everybody seems to be attracting you from Germany to Ethiopia, to Ghana, to Botswana. Yeah. Uh, you know, the presence of Indian industry is huge, yeah. as we see. Uh, so, when, when you go overseas, like when Africa invites you or say Germany invites you, is it, is it only from the interest of business? per se, or does it involve things more than what you Well, uh, business, but I think all of those um, uh, countries want to empower themselves to and um, have um, uh, to, uh, their local economies grow. And I think trade and um, business yeah, can, can, can really lead towards that path. And so I think it's a mutual um, area of interest. It's not one way. Um, so I think we have to empower those countries also to take the skill set that we are able to provide through our experiences from 40 years. Um, and yeah, that's what we can take uh, to these nations as well. So, what so was it? You are trying to globalize India at the society. Do you like to know what really motivates you? I think what motivates us, I mean, we are all first of all very proud to be Indian. We are all very proud of um, uh, our heritage from the textile background and uh, textiles is an area where you know a country like India or anywhere where the population is growing um, the population is young you have um, access to online uh, purchases you have um, the need for fashion is continuously trending um, upwards um, I think it's a very interesting area, lots of challenges and uh, likewise many of these developing countries across the world, they're also fast growing in terms of population, they're all very young, they've all got access to, um, to, um, uh, to the internet, to um, state of the art, uh, the latest uh, television programs, um, uh, satellite television, whatever, I think they've got um, a lot of um, demand and so hopefully we can take our skill set and um, merge our um, 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fabric. Sir, the so one last question. Uh, last question is, uh, what message do you want her to give her thoughts yeah, to? So what message do you want to give her thoughts this? Um, on, on the occasion of India Queen's um, 40th year, um, we want to thank all of our um, partners, associations, with everybody across the country that we've been involved with for the last 40 years, that we're very committed to the Indian textile industry and we will stay committed. We lead the road forward. We, the main message is our, we would like to see everybody attend our two flagship events next year, which is uh, in ITNI Africa in February 2020, and also the main ITNI 2020, for sure.